John 3 verse 16, the Bible says that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God loved the world. God loved the world. And he's the same God who is living in you. So because God loved the world, you have to love the world. When you begin to love the world, you are going to preach to them so that they may not go to hell. When you begin to love, then every person is going to perceive that you are a child of God. Why am I saying so? The Bible says in John 13 verse 35 that uh, by loving one another, every person will know that you are truly my disciple, not by preaching, uh, not by singing, uh, not by speaking in tongues, uh, but by loving one another, every person uh, will know that uh, you are truly my disciples. Uh, John 1st, John 4 verse 8, the Bible says that uh, God is love. If you don't love, you don't know God. So you may read uh, from Genesis to Revelation, uh, you may quote scriptures uh, one after the other, but if you don't love, you do not know God because God God is love. So if somebody who has got love, they have to demonstrate by loving one another. By loving one another. In Genesis 11, they were creating a tower. They wanted the top to reach heaven. Then Genesis 11 on verse 6, should be verse 5 or verse 6, the Bible said that God came down to see what the people were doing and the Lord said, these people are one and this is just the beginning. I mean, nothing will stop them from continuing. Nothing will stop them from finishing what they have started already. So if we are one, nobody will separate us. First John 3 verse 15, the Bible says that anyone who hates is a murderer. And you know that there is no eternal life into a murderer. So if you are a murderer, there is no salvation in you. There is no eternal life in you. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9, the Bible says that two are better than one. Two are better than one. So if you are by yourself, then uh, you are not better. The Bible says that where there are two or three are gathered in my name, I'm among them. Why two? Why not one? Because two represent love. Two represent uh, without selfishness. Love. Love. Some people cannot be given the power because they don't love. When they give, they try to give them the power. They will turn into Balaam. Numbers 22 verse 22. He wanted to curse the children of Israel. They could not offend him. They, they came to call him and uh, say that go and curse, come and curse for us, the children of Israel, with the power of Jesus. And they were the children of Jesus. You need to have love, my brother.